So here's my first 3D printer build. It's based on the Mendel Max. It's not quite done yet. I'm still waiting on a gear for the extruder. Over here is the heat pad for the table. It's an AC heat pad. Here's a power relay that drives that. Still got to wire that up. Got to put together the hot end. There's a power resistor that goes in the big hole here that's used to heat up the nozzle. And then a thermistor goes in that little hole right there. Uh, plastic gets extruded out of, out of that end. And then this gets mounted to here, goes right in here. And then this basically gets installed in there. Over here is a power supply. It's a 30 amp, 12 volt supply. I'm using the RAMPS 1.4 controller. It's an Arduino based controller. Got that from RipRap Discount as a kit. I'll clean up the electronics once I'm able to start printing. I'll print a housing for the electronics and get that all cleaned up. But the kit also came with these uh, Hall Effect sensors. They're, these are the end stops. Uh, still gotta connect those. And it came with the LCD panel as well. Um, has a built-in SD card slot where you could um, download your designs to that and supposedly print it without having a PC connected to your printer. And over here is a software. I'm running Repeater Host software that's free open source. I'll go ahead and open a little design I made. I created this design in uh, SketchUp. It's basically a calibration cube. Once I get the printer up and running, I'll probably print this out and take measurements off it to uh, calibrate the, the printer. Go over here and slice it. This basically takes your design and divides it up into layers that are um, printed. Generates the G-code that gets sent to the printer. As you can see, you can kind of cycle through all the different layers here. It's kind of neat software. Go ahead and, ahead and run the job. Go back over to the printer. So right now you can kind of see the the x-axis is homing. Now it's homing the y. And finally the, the z-axis. Sorry for the video quality, I'm shooting all this on my cell phone. So right now the printer is waiting for the bed temperature and the nozzle temperature to come up to their set points. Um, since I have, don't have those connected, I'm going to go ahead and dial them down to kind of fake it out. Have to go in and change those defaults. 
Peter. So there the printer's taken off. Right now it's printing the skirt around the part. That's basically to prime the nozzle. And then now it's starting to do the perimeter of the first layer. You can go back over to the software. kind of see it drawing it out real time. There's a little bit of lag between what the printer's doing and what the software is showing. Now it's doing the fill inside the first layer. I'm going to have to adjust all the feed rates and stuff once I um, get it completed. But that's what I got done so far. Thanks for watching.